welcome to today's card creation brought to you by Inspired by Stamping. Today we'll be going to be using the July release for 2017 and this summer bouquet floral stamp set. I've got a piece of watercolour cardstock here and we'll be stamping with Distress Inks using antique linen. Now because it's a large stamp I'm going to be placing the block on its back and putting the ink placing the ink on top of it. So I'm just wanting a light coverage and light ink because I'm basically going to be going over the top of it with watercolour pencils from Faber-Castells. So I'm going to use this whole A5 card front and stamp randomly to get as much coverage all over the watercolour cardstock. Now this is not a smooth watercolour cardstock, it's a textured one. So I'm pressing quite hard on the surface because I do want to see as much of the image as possible. Um, even though I'll be colouring over it, I want to see and trace what I'm colouring over. Um, so you see me here just covering as much as I can of this watercolour panel. And almost applying CPR. In the meantime, now just setting that aside, I've got my Aqua Painter brush and I'm using some just some pink collections from this Faber-Castell watercolour and pencil set. Um, and I'm, what I'm doing first is putting the second lightest or the second colour down. So it's probably, you know, one of the heavier tones. And then I'm just tracing around each floral petal and image and then what I'll do is I'll bring this pink flesh color tone and get as good coverage as I can so when I use and apply water with the aqua brush it actually shares and spreads that color quite um, well throughout the card and I just pretty much take my time with each petal sometimes I pick up the color as you can see from the pencil directly if I know that I need to apply some more depth and some more color and pigment to the petal so you can see here I've traced around it and I just work my way through each petal it is time consuming so I do tend to um, skip a whole bit of this um, you can only see so much water coloring at once um, and I just take my time in this whole process so overall this card would have taken me about 25 minutes um, I am not a watercolor artist by all means I just follow the shades of the floral images and I'm lucky that inspired by stamping have really beautiful floral images that makes it easy to follow um, and I just use whatever I feel like when it comes to shading. I'm not like I don't read up on it. I just follow on YouTube what others are doing. So I now cut just a panel off um, of that card front because I decided I just didn't want to use the whole image. And that way I'm going to make two cards out of the one. So I've got some Spellbinders labels dies here that I've brought in and some Avriel. I know I initially showed you this like tanny color, but I ended up flipping it over and using the gray tone to go with my um, sandstone card base. Now that's a top folding card base as well. So I cut a strip of that um, sandstone, sorry, that Avery L designer series paper and also the label. And then I cut a um, size down with white cardstock. And then I just try and figure out how I'm going to place this because I have, I went in there kind of a bit blindly with this card. Usually I map out or I've already made the card once already, but um, just wanted to have fun and just create on the whim with this one. Now this beautiful, um, versatile, happy stamp set is a must have in your stash. It has got every occasion that you could think of um, and the font itself the happy is such beautiful font as well as I love how that you've got that typed bold caps font in this actual add-on sentiments to it now it also comes with a die so what I've got here is the fossil lawn fawn ink and I'm just wanted to create like an ombre sentiment 
So I haven't used this ink blending tool before, so it hasn't been inked up or primed up before. So I'm kind of pot lucking it here and hoping that it blends really well, which it has done. Um, and I was really happy with the end result. Now this cardstock that I'm using to ink blend tool is like a, a Naturals Ivory, which is uh, an old Stampin' Up um, cardstock. I'm not too sure if they stock it anymore, but I had a sheet of it and I'm, I love it. I love the natural look of it. And I think it really brings down the actual watercolor cardstock, which is not a stark white. Um, and I didn't want to use like a really stark white sentiment as well. So I've die cut with that Naturals cardstock um, four times and then the first layer, the layer that you'll see on the top, is the one that's been ombreed. So I stack this on and I, in that um, glue dispenser, um, that fine tip applicator, I've got matte multi-medium um, and I tend to use that for intricate sentiments because if it does ooze out, it dries matte and clear and you don't even notice the glue if it any seeped out at all so i really love that for especially building on sentiments and die cuts especially fine detail ones so i'm just placing the striped thin um, designer series paper on the side there and um, i didn't stick the actual panel down because i am placing the larger of the labels of the spellbinders labels behind it and then I'm going to foam mount the side panel here of the watercolored image that we've already worked on. So I am going to use my foam mount. Um, I've got separate scissors that I use for foam mount. I think I've pointed that out before. Um, that way I know which scissors I'm going to use for what. And then um, that one there is labeled with washi, so I know the difference. Now I'm just adhering that down with foam mount tape and because that creates an actual like 3D element and layer I'm going to have to place some foam mount on this but before I do on the white cardstock I'm going to stamp on it otherwise it might stamp unevenly which for me is probably a good chance of it. Um, so I'm going to grab the same fossil ink that I used for the sentiment to create that ombre to stamp on this white cardstock on the bottom there and it says birthday and I'm just going to do a generic happy birthday card. You can do whatever and the choice is endless with this stamp set. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to add some foam mount to the right of that um, and I kind of go back flipping it over to make sure that I haven't put too much foam out and then I can butt it up against the cardstock there that of that layer. Now on the other side I adhere it with my Mono Tombow adhesive, my adhesive of choice, <laughs> my liquid adhesive of choice and then I bring this happy in and I bring back my matte multi-medium to stick that down with um, just in case it oozes out. So I'm happy with that layer and I've just brought in some embellishments that I've got here um, and I loved it's glitter enamel and it's transparent um, and it's beautiful. So I was undecided on what I was going to do with the enamel dots. I'm just bringing in the stamp sets here and then I show you my finished enamel dots that I chose which I chose like the white clear one and I notice I needed to trim and there you go I'm quite happy with this card it's a, it's very soft and feminine I hope you like it and don't forget to make a comment and um, visit us on inspired by stamping and the other social media platforms see you later